I just woke up to this beautiful news. I like to reiterate that I said they wouldn't announce investigating these corporations until they had something. Once again, two to three weeks, we'll see something big. So another article says U.S. prosecutors explore racketeering charges in short seller probe. So it looks like the hammer is continuing to come down on the short sellers. Again, just like this ape said, it's not going to be much of anything, at least for the next few weeks. All we have to do is let the regulators and officials do their job. And hopefully they're going to start naming some names very soon here. Let's talk a little bit more about AMC's entire float. It says Adam Aaron said over 90% is owned by retail. Insiders own 4.38%. Institutions, as of last, own around 31.62%. Short interest is now 21.63% or somewhere around there. 147.63% with self-reported data. This is why a $1.4 million floor is possible. Don't give up your shares for chump change to these criminal scumbags. And here is just a little bit of proof as far as screenshots. This right here shows as of last the insider ownership of AMC, which is people like the board, people like the CEO, etc., etc., own around 22 million plus shares or around 4.38%. Next, we have the institutional holders which now own around 31.62%. Out of the total shares outstanding, which are 514 million, seems like things are moving now as far as regulators, the SEC, so it's only a matter of time at this point. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like on this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.